Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Javon Keyes. Well, I spoke about those red arrows earlier. Motorists will be spending more at the pumps effective tomorrow. A litre of 87 and 90 gasoline will sell for 25 cents more after two consecutive weeks of declines. Diesel will increase by $3.96, while ultra-low sulfur diesel will go up at the circuit breaker marker of $4.50. The price of kerosene will also rise, selling for 25 cents more after falling for two weeks. A dollar thirty-two cents will be added to the cost of propane and eighty-five cents to butane. Some news in the financial sector now: five institutions have been licensed to operate under the new Microcredit Act. The Bank of Jamaica says Access Financial Services, True Blue Financial Services, Kingston Finance, N Enhana Investment. Company and Chris and Charles Investments Company are the first to achieve this milestone. Now, the central bank says more than 100 applications have been received and are being processed. The Microcredit Act 2021, which, which was passed in January last year, is aimed at licensing and regulating microcredit institutions that provide financing to individuals, micro, small and medium-sized enterprises. Under the Act, the Bank of Jamaica is charged with general administration as well as supervision of microcredit institutions. The Consumer Affairs Commission, CAC, is however responsible for making and issuing a code of conduct for licensees on consumer-related matters. The CAC will also investigate complaints brought to it by the consumer regarding microcredit services. Pharmaceutical distributor Carimed Group says it's considering an initial public offer IPO on the Jamaica Stock Exchange, JSC. The company says it is also looking at other options to raise capital. Carimed has secured NCB Capital Markets and a legal team to guide it through the preparatory process and financing options at this time. Now to some news overseas. The U.S. Federal Reserve has again raised interest rates by three quarters of a percentage point as it continues to battle the worst outbreak of inflation in 40 years. The Fed has, however, hinted at smaller increases in the future to account for cumulative tightening of monetary policy, and that's a quote from the Fed. It has enacted and that's the policy it's enacted so far. Now, Fed Chair Jerome Powell says that change in pace could come as soon as the central bank's next meeting in December, but he also cautioned that there remains extensive uncertainty about how high rates will need to go. He says they could end up being higher than policymakers had anticipated at their last meeting in September. The White House said Fed rate hikes will help lower inflation and tame the housing market. The policy decision set the target federal funds rate in a range of between 3.75 and 4 percent, the highest since early 2008. The U.S. Central Bank has raised rates at least six times over the last few months, marking the fastest round of increases since former Fed chair raised rates back in 1970s and the 1980s. Now to the financial markets back home, the U.S. dollar is being sold for an average $154.23. $113.46 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar. $178.12 for the pound, while it's costing an average $156 for the euro. The JSE index gained 597 points today, while the junior market index increased by 31 points. Among the winners were Productive Business Solutions 9.75% Cumulative Redeemable Preference Shares, Iron Rock Insurance Company, Dolphin Cove, MFS Capital Partners and Main Event Entertainment Group. Leading the decliners were FLE 7.5% Preference Shares due 2024, 138 Student Living Jamaica, Access Financial Services, Epley and Stationery and Office Supplies Limited. And that's it for the Business Day. I'm Javon Keyes. Good evening.